Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. These are all the things you never knew about Rachel Oniga. Rachel Oniga is a veteran Yoruba Nollywood actress. She is a household name. Back in the days, the mother of three was a model for different kinds of television commercials. She was trained as a computer programmer, but her love for acting is an undying love. The mother of three is from Delta State, but she was born in Lagos and she resides in Lagos. She speaks and reads Yoruba flawlessly. That is why most people think she is Yoruba. She joined the show business after her separation from her late husband. She started acting in 1993. When exactly did Rachel know that she would become an actress? As for her, she has always had a trait since she was in primary school. She attended Princess Girls School at Abuli Oja in Yaba, Lagos. In those days, they had missionary, private and federal government schools. Their school was like a private school, even though it was a missionary school. They did not pay school fees, but the teaching standards were quite high and they used to take drama classes. She was also part of the girls' guild and they had different sporting groups which she joined. Despite being an only girls primary school, she enjoyed playing the role of a boy whenever they had drama. She always used costumes that belonged to her younger brother. Her parents used to come around to watch them perform. Her late mother was particularly very proud of her. Elementary school was fun for her and she took that same spirit to secondary school. After school, she became a professional computer programmer. At what point did she leave computer programming for acting? She worked for some years with an engineering consultancy firm. It was an European company, but the head office for the West African region was in Nigeria. She stopped working when she got married and started having children. But unfortunately, the marriage did not last. When she got separated from her children's father, she does not call him her late husband, she took to acting again. Even though most people don't know this, she already had her three kids before she started acting. When her marriage didn't work out, she told herself that she was not going to go into the street to look for a job. At a time, she was a student at the Federal School of Science, Victoria Land, Lagos. Then, Victoria Land was very small, from where they had the student union building. You could see the bar beach and fresh hair straight from the beach would touch you. There were very few buildings at that time. After school, the students were drawn to the Nigerian Television Authority to go and see Rehaz House and the actual shooting of the village headmaster. From there, they would go to know a few members of the cast. She was so fortunate to meet Uncle Lai Ashade of the village headmaster, who was interested in what she was doing at that time. She told him her situation, and he asked her if she needed a job. She told him that she didn't intend to work for anyone. He asked if she loved to act, since a few of them had shown interest earlier. Of course, she was interested in that. He later connected her to a movie project, Memorial Hospital. The camp was situated in Badagri. He told her they needed some roles to be filled. He gave her the address and went to meet the producer and director. On getting there, she was given a script for the first time. She didn't know what it looked like before then, but she had witnessed the shooting of village headmaster as she mentioned earlier. She read through and told the director that she was ready to go on set. They gave her a costume, did her makeup, and other necessary things were put in place. After the first scene, they asked if she had ever faced camera before, and she said no, that was her first experience, but they found that very hard to believe. The director just couldn't believe that. She didn't show any stage fright since that was her first time. That was basically how she started acting from 1993. So does she think she would have been richer if she was into computer programming? For her, she knows that could be the case, but she has never reasoned it. And she thanks God for her life. She believes that no destiny can be changed. One destiny can be delayed or turned around. But what God has written down for you cannot be changed. And she believes that destiny has put her where she is today. So, how has she been able to stay relevant for years in the movie industry? In our words, I give glory to God. It is not by my making and it is not like I am the best. It is just that God has been merciful to me. In actual fact, a lot of people started before me and after me and they are nowhere to be found again. But I thank God that I'm still relevant and I plan to continue to put in my best. So as a single mother with three children, how did she manage to build her acting career? Her first one, Olamide, was four years old when she left her marriage. She had to put them all in boarding school. That is one of the most painful things she has ever done. Whenever she talks about this, it always brings her close to tears. Our children pay the price for something they knew nothing about, according to the actress. Children don't beg parents to have them. We ask them to come to the world, so we should be able to take good care of them. It is not all about money, but I had no choice. I had to work. I had to be a mother and father to them. I had to make sure that they had all they needed to have. While they were in school, they didn't lack anything. 
I got them all the things we children had. I understand all I did was not enough, but I thank God for the children he blessed me with. I think God knew I had nobody but him. In a way, he saw us through, and I thank him for that. So after her failed marriage, why did she remain single for more than two decades? Why didn't she remarry? For her, it is about the factor that led to the end of her first marriage. Since her later husband married another woman, that led to the end of her first marriage. And that made her determined to prove to him, her ex-husband, that she could stand without a man. She was not ready to give any other man the chance to be a hindrance to her children and her. She also made up her mind that she would dedicate her life totally to her children. She toughened her heart and blocked every opportunity to go into any relationship. She saw herself as equal to a man, regardless of how much money he might have had. And then she gives glory to God because she can pay her bills and she dedicated all her life to her job and children. She became so busy that she was not ready to take any nonsense from men. So which of one of her children has taken after her so far? None of our children is ready to go into acting. It's not that they are not interested. They have their passion. She's not the kind of parent that would force a child to do a profession. All she does is encourage them in their endeavors. At the moment, her first daughter has developed for politics. They all have their free minds and want to live their own lives. They might not be happy if she tells them what to do or what career to choose. For example, her children prefer to separate the home from the job. Being an actress does not really thrill her children. They simply see her as mommy and none of them derive joy being called Richard Oniga's child in public or using her name to court any favor. What embarrassment has she ever experienced from a fan? For her, no artist loves to be harassed. It is high time people realize that there is no joy in embarrassing actors or actresses by asking them for money. They believe they are making so much money from show business. They should not expect us to be carrying physical cash around. I always let the real boys realize that I wasn't expecting to see them on the streets. So how do you expect me to start sharing money up and down? Some would even be telling me how much they want to collect. We all love to be appreciated but not being molested. But often have been able to handle the situation very well. Maybe because I'm a woman. What does she think about actor and actress marriage? For her, actors and actresses are just like other people in other industries. They can marry one another. Those in banking, law and other industries marry one another. So she thinks the problem lies in the fact that we often relate to the public. <coughs> so she thinks the problem lies in the fact that they often relate to the public. So many people would want to know so many things about them. And any problem among them would definitely spread faster because of the kind of job they are doing. It happens everywhere and not only in the entertainment industry. How was it for her being a model and an actress back in the day? Modeling and acting go hand in hand. As an actress, when going on stage, according to Rachel, there's a script about a character and you need to understand. She receives invitations from companies for modeling jobs. They usually see her as someone who can project the image of their products. So she models for companies that produce matches, milk, tin tomato, and so many others. On assuming a character, as an artist, one should be able to interpret any role in a drama. One should be able to differentiate from the role from one's normal self. First, she usually goes through the script. Then she will discuss with the director to get details of the character she's given. She tries as much as possible to bring out the best in her because by playing with your nigga, she'll not be doing justice to the job. So being an actor or actress is beyond studying. If one is talented, then one can make it. Someone might have attended the university and yet does not have what it takes to be a good actor. What is the major lesson she has learned in the movie industry? When you're in this kind of industry, she said, you're in the midst of enemies. It takes the grace of God for you to be somebody in the movie industry. Whether you are good at your job or not, many people would want to bring you down. However, if you have God on your side and you are good at your work, you would always sell through anywhere you are. In every profession, there are issues among the white people too. There are always people who are not happy for others. It is left for you to be prayerful and to be closer to your God. You should know what you want from life so that you can stand firm in whatever you do. We have come to the end of this episode on Rachel Oniga, the fantastic veteran actress. And we hope you learned a lot from this episode and you enjoyed it. Until next time, remain blessed.